the Kodak, they don't want to see you winning. God damn, dog. So, BT, man, they are on some women empowerment shit like they've been on for a little minute. A lot of these places been on some women empowerment shit for a little, little minute. And um, yesterday was the BT Hip Hop Awards. They had that aired. And the, the song of the year, the song of the year, Kodak with having the big hit, one of the biggest hip hop hits of the year, Super Gremlin. He didn't win. He lost a lot of big energy, um, you know, and it's crazy because you had a little thing a couple months ago between Lotto and Kodak Black, that whole situation where someone tried Lotto. She didn't say who it was. People assumed that it was Kodak. It was a crazy situation. Kodak denied it was him, said he would never try Lotto because of um, his friendship with 21 Savage and them two, um, Lotto and Savage are rumored to be together. But that's that situation right there. But today, Kodak is, re is reflecting He's reflecting on not getting that award. So let's see what he has to say right here. Shouts out to official Florida promo. Shout out to that Instagram page right there. Let's see what y'all got to say. It's lit. I don't give a fuck. I watch. Because this shit, this whole shit look like a damn plot. You know what I mean? Like, then I look on the ground. I say like, damn, what shawty blocked me for? Shawty got, shawty got me blocked all type of shit. Damn. I'm like, man, this whole shit like weeks ago. I'm like. Man, this shit probably crazy. They probably in the, hollering at the industry people, hollering at BT. Like, man, listen, man, don't kill him that shit. Oh, he, what you call it? Oh, he, da 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 da. That's why I didn't try to lie, lie on, like, no saying, on some crazy shit, try to throw thrill for him, man, and make a nigga look crazy. So then be like, man, y'all can't give him that shit. Oh, da 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 da. You feel me? I swear to God, I told, I man, I told you people like weeks ago, I'm like, bro, watch. They finna, they finna. They finna play with me, they ain't gonna give me everybody thinking I'm from and that shit. Oh, they finna play with me and they finna get the uh, frappuccino on me. <laughs> That's what I got. I like watch they finna play with me and, and get that shit the frappuccino. And then they gonna they gonna on oh, well, by the time when it's my turn to get my shit, they gonna play on a woman empowerment. Then around that same time that when the cheats, all the little cheats started. Crying about oh women empowerment niggas <laughs> males be so dominant and shit. <laughs> do, 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 do. I swear to God, Ace um been saying and shit. I'm like bro, they finna play with a nigga, I'm they finna get up. They do the women empowerment shit, but don't understand that sometimes when you grading some ladies on a curve, when you don't have to because you have people like Nicki Minaj who dominates for real. You don't need no curve for Nicki Minaj. But when you grade in some ladies on a curve, and you have people like Kodak who isn't normally able to compete with the big dogs you know the top three big dogs drake cole and kendrick and put up numbers like or future you know being able to put up numbers like that well you don't usually have that and he does have a song that's dominating in the ranks with them it's fucked up when you are giving a war for sympathy or it's woman empowerment shit to lotto and i told y'all last months ago i told y'all I told y'all Lotto was trying to play that sympathy card to go ahead and get attention and get awards and shit. I told y'all last. I fucks with Lotto as far as her, her ability as an artist, but I told y'all she was doing all that press run shit as far as what women gotta go through. I told y'all she was doing it to get awards. Megan Thee Stallion did the same thing and that's how she got awards over a little baby who had the, the highest selling rap, not even rap project, he had the highest selling album in 2020. Out of all artists, all music, and he didn't win any awards and Megan was winning over Lil Baby based on things that was awarded for that year. That shit crazy, bro. But look at these stats. Once again, shout out to the official Florida promo for pulling these up. Um, let, me, let me make the screen bigger. So this is like far as people sharing it on social media, on Instagram for sure. People use Super Gremlin and Reels 200,000 times, Lotto 100,000. YouTube views, um, Lotto got 36 million, Kodak got 221 million. And her has been out for a year. Here's only 11 months. This right here, big energy when it comes to this right here. Um, this single, 179. That's our biggest song ever. So 179 million, that's that right there. Kodak, 243 million, you know? That's right there. So in comparison, it's kind of really, can't even you can't even say much about it. It's not cool. It's not fair because you are shitting on his moment when he finally had the song that dominated this year to be able to win a war for, you know, above a Drake, above a whomever else is on the top of the top of the game. This is his year. But just you're gonna grave her on a curve just because she's doing the best of her career. That means she's the best out of everybody. 
I fuss a lot of. Someone even told me I was biased when covering a lot of folks. Y'all know I fuss a lot of, but this ain't cool. No, you're not doing this. This is not how you get the respect. If you want respect, dominate like Nicki do. Dominate like Cardi do. Cardi do good numbers too. Dominate like that if you want that respect. If you want that respect, dominate like that. But we're not going to get no sympathy in hip hop. No, not doing that. No. So Lotto comes and responds by trolling Yak by posting Frappuccino on a new picture caption and also sharing that post to a story having her super gremlin Lotto freestyle playing in the back of that motherfucker. Real, real funny. Real, real funny type. But Yak was not done with his rant, man. Yak went on Twitter and said the women empowerment shit cool. Like, don't take none from nobody, but you still gotta work for it. Don't just simply give it to somebody because they a woman. If that's the case, y'all should have gave song of the year to Glorilla. Not that hating ass mutt. Not Drake. Not Future. But Lache? Hell nah. Connie Orlando needs to be fired. That stupid ass song ain't move nobody. Forget about me at this point. At least fuck nigga free was an anthem. The fuck you think so gonna yield me? Everyone need to boycott Connie Orlando and BT. Y'all lame as fuck and y'all are really not for the people for real. BT watered down. BT y'all so lame and out of touch. I called it out a few weeks ago. Ain't no way they gonna let no motherfucker code that win a damn award, even if the car right in front of them. Whole point of everything was about women empowerment. The females been crying about it all year. Now Kodak has some more shots on his Instagram. He posted this clip right here, and he says BT went up 34% this year all they did was use us having real gangsters up there like me and ESTG to make it look like they tapping in with the community for real although they knew who to invite nominate and have perform they still ain't really embrace us for real Connie Orlando fake as fuck BT rig J Prince respect need to start a real award show cancer that dumbass BT shit now a lot of people are in the comment section especially ladies that's defending a lot of they saying like why is he so mad and upset about a BT award this the problem. It's a problem right here. Even though BT has, you know, but they're working with the bigger conglomerate that's not all black, but still, if it's a channel, if it's a network that's, you know, supposed to represent something for black people, then you want to raise that award to have the same type of significance as a Grammy or anything that you guys hold up because those those awards snub black people as well when it comes to things. So, yes, he should hold BT to a higher standard, standard because they should be up the coach and they should get things right. Now Kodak wasn't done right there. We're going to end the video off with him ranting some more. And he spoke about drink champs being tied with your Miami show, Carisha, please. He speaks about him and Carisha dealing with each other, other in the past. And although he's happy for her, it's hard for him to understand her tying with her new show, tying drink champs, especially with other outlets like Million Dollars Worth of Game and The Breakfast Club. She won last night. Listen, you know Carisha I love Carisha. Please yeah. won last night. Wait, wait, wait. Night. I love yeah, Carisha. She black Oprah. She yeah. did. But it was tied with drink champs. Diddy, you know that's some bullshit. What? It tied. It tied. I thought it, it tied. Carisha Please and Drink Champs tied for best podcast. They both on revolt. So you paid for that? No, I didn't pay for that. Drink Champ should have won that hand down. Hey, yo, 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 I didn't pay for that. I'm Drink Champ, Carisha only got, and I love Carisha, but she only got five episodes. How'd she beat Drink Champ for best podcast, Diddy? Come on now. Because it was the best podcast Stop. of the year. Hands down. And I love Carisha. Hands down, it was the best podcast of the year. No. But you know what? I get at the Drink Champs. And a million dollars worth of games. And I feel hey. like a, a lot of women podcasters don't get their just do. And so I best do podcast of the doing. year, Diddy? Yes. Yes. Come on, over Drink Champs a million dollars worth of games? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Pe hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, check it out. Don't be mad at me because I'm a winner. <laughs> All right? Don't be mad at me, don't win And since ties are possible, he's asking why didn't his song tie with Lotto for best song. He also talked about Lotto doing that sympathy run like I told y'all, man. Check this out right here. Then we're going to sign out a video. Boycott BT. Boycott Connie Orlando, man. Boycott her stupid ass, bro. On her trail, like, stay on her line, homie. Ain't they wrong? That was stupid as f Anyway, even when I watch a car, I ain't even go back and sit down. I ain't even back go back to that shit I perform on I mean. it. That sh dumb I had to find out who, who, like, who won all that other shit, like, days later. We just finding out who won. They did the first two at the I'm saying. Like even with this shit, right? 
I love you in Miami. I, you know what I'm saying? I love Carisha. Like, you know, all the other shit. Like, I ain't no gook. All that shit. I'm like, oh, Carisha. You know what I'm saying? Miami. All that shit. Yeah, nigga was doing that just to show, like, show like, like, sorry. And all that shit. You know what I'm saying? For, you know what I'm saying? What happened when we were vibing? Just when I went to, um, when I was in prison, something had happened to her car or something like that. You know, I was in prison and people had my name in it like that. And she thought whatever she thought. So I used to just do all this internet. Like, oh, Miami and Carisha. Like that. Like, she's, she that baby. But, you know, I was just over-exaggerating it. To show her, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I was sorry, you know, just being funny about it and shit like that. But other than that, I don't give a f You hear me? Like, that would be my cheeks before Diddy and all that. I'm just saying that because like, bro. They made, they made show, they made show. Why they didn't give my a tie? They, 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 they tied, they tied, they tied, they tied her with on drink champs. What about Breakfast Club? What about me and all the birthday game? You know what I'm saying? Versus. So, you know what I'm saying? Versus all that shit. What the fuck, go, man? I said, uh, let's say, like, I'm, I'm, I'm super, I'm super proud of her. She, you know what I'm saying? I don't see the girl, I'm a project baby, she friend away. I like I, I love to see her succeed and do all that. But y'all don't be twirling it on no mother jazz. You just don't oh yeah, just just doing it to be doing it. Kinda Orlando man, she she told me like she needs to be fired, bro. She need to be fired. The whole however they hold it, how they do that shit, man. Yeah, big facts, all type you feel me? So alright, if it was on some time. Why y'all didn't give my a tie with um with 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 cappuccino? <laughs> Frappuccino, cappuccino. <laughs> Why y'all ain't make my tie with cappuccino? <laughs> oh, but y'all made sure. Drink chunks. That made sure uh, he was, he he be a tie with drink chunks. And I called this shit out a few weeks ago, bro. Not even like you know, and you know my intuitions that and like you know what I'm saying I'm lit. I'm ahead of this because I ain't say they're gonna get a Dre or future none of that. Shit. Like I'm saying on Glorilla, I called it out. I say watch they get her, bro. I should get her because she did too much on his internet, oh man. She didn't clear my name up with that shit. Me, no mom. on your trail, Been there, doing that one. Been like, I've met you before. You ain't even know, like, before you, been, before you was even nothing. Before you was anything, I was hollering at um, Cappuccino. Just a little text and the end, we went. That's it. So for a minute, I wasn't even hollering at it. For a minute. So I'm gonna play it like, oh, we trying to drag their nuts on the females. Da, 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 da. Only delayed with that song when we dropped that song on her album. Was trying to get her to do a song with my artist, BB. That was the only hold up. And she know that. That's why she didn't say what you call it, but just off the fact that people was saying, oh, who was, who that was, go that, who that was, go that. She supposed to clear up my name with that Cause you know I went on no bull with you, no bull with you. I said, I'm gonna do the song for free, just get my artist a feature, a BBS. She from Atlanta, she from the bluff. Oh, I wanna do something with up and coming artists. Godspeed merch collection is out right now featuring this basic tee right here. As well as the premium tee, the oversized premium tee, you feel me? Yes, sir. Hey man, make sure y'all go ahead and get it right.